the second generation Hackvision modular IP intercom system that has debuted at the beginning of this year just instantly attracted our attention. But our hands reach it now only. Yeah. In general, this whole new system is very cool. I mean, a really big and tangible step forward from the first generation to the second in a number of parameters. A redesigned, much more user-friendly interface in the best traditions of iOS and Android UX. It is also beginner-friendly, so it ain't hard to understand the system. There is clear and convenient installation schemes. And the most important, a lot of features systems, flexibility, and a wide configuration. Everything that you're gonna see today is available on a People's System Store website within a worldwide delivery. Just specify you're subscribed to get your special offer. I'm Daniel, break it in. Subscribe to People's Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Today we have a lot of things here, but frankly speaking, this is a third part of what we're of what there actually is. We didn't take everything that we could on a purpose. Otherwise, this review would take a good half an hour. So we're featuring only the most basic things to disclose the topic, because our task is to tell you what is the second generation of Equations IP intercoms, what it consists of, and how it differs from a first generation. And what is it? capable of. I have put everything here in three rows, divided by the type of the device. So on the left, we have an indoor station. Accordingly, a device is used to display and control the system view available appliances for making calls and opening doors and so on. And what is the thing capable of? A touch and responsive screen, beautiful design. Uh, by the way, on the instance of this one, the thin aerospace level aluminum awarded by the prestigious red dot price. And if you want some more details, I have disclosed what are these video intercoms are remarkable for in a video behind that prompt in that corner. And from my perspective, Hikvision have done a fantastic job by aspiring to make it very pleasing to the eyes and the hands, which is good because uh, often a players in I in our field don't even attempt to make it look good, but to make it functional. And by the way, about the function set and the differences of our indoor stations, we'll talk about that further in this video. In the middle, we have the external elements of the system. So this is a main uh, video intercom or a doorbell. And further on, these are an additional extension modules following the main one over here. Uh, so. By the way, about this one, in terms of a functionality, it differs a little from any other video intercoms that you have ever seen. So yeah, the camera module right here with the infrared engine around it, the microphone hole right over there, uh, the speaker, the call button, and we can also insert a name tag here for our visitors to see, which is awesome and convenient. And by the way, all the appliances that we are talking about today are powered via a POE switch or a 12 volts uh, power adapter via RS-485. So next we have an indication module for displaying status. That is, you call us, we hear you speak, and the door is open. Yeah, everything is simple. Next is a Mifair type card reader. One of these cards is uh, included in the kit within a video intercom for the test, so everything is thought out. Though in the video, I'm gonna use my personal one. So with this module, we can use an access control functionality. And if we are talking about some company, in the access control tab of IVMS software, we create a company, then a person, and then assigning to him this personal identifier in form of a card to read with this module. And then we repeat until we reach a required number of users added. What we have left is a multi-subscribers extension module. We are able to create a specific name tag for each apartment in a building, for example, and to tie each separate name tag and call button within each separate apartment so that the call goes where it needs to go if we're having a several objects. And in addition to the access control topic, we have on-wall keypad module right here. You have already seen this um, like hundreds of times, but what's different here is a format. You can set a common password for a group or you can set an individual password for an employee. 
for an instance to see when he came to walk. And also, we can use it as a well, classical keypad, like when you enter a number of the apartment or a office or a workplace, then press oh, lettuce and call. So, in fact, the, there are a lot more of these modules, but as I said before, we took a piece only of the whole pie for demonstration purposes. Further on, you can expect more in-depth and device-specific reviews and tutorials. So, you know, the bell icon next to the subscribers button will, uh, will let you never miss our videos. On the right, we have brackets for combining these modules in a kind of a system. And so then we can take it, grab it and fix them on a surface. And here you see we have a single, a double and of course a triple ones. And they also differ by the install type, which can be a Mortis and Laydown. So uh, based on your goals, you need a regular video intercom only. So here you go. Take the main unit. To, um, there's also a kit consistent with bracket and a main intercom module. And you don't have to think about all the rest. But if you're planning to do something more interesting and complex, here you go too. Come up with uh, what you want your system to be. Grab a double, a triple or multiple brackets and any well, of these extensions and go mount it. And by the way, now we're gonna overview what opportunities and options do we have based on a system. And to mention, and to mention, which is very, well, kind of convenient and which is good, within a package of a bracket, doesn't matter if it's a triple or double, you always have everything needed for uh, the commutation, for the communication, for connecting these modules and powering it up so everything just grew, you don't have to buy any additional packages. Well, except the POE switch, of course, and maybe if you needed a 12 volts power supply. And so the first group is the indoor stations. In fact, we have five of those here, but essentially they offer the same functionality. Uh, the differences lies in only like in only the appearance, size, and the Wi-Fi support. For the review, I use the most mid-price version, having no Wi-Fi support. So ah, uh, we switch to the upper view. Our monitor is powered via a POV switch, meaning it's online as well. And so the second generation video Intercom's main feature is the updated interface version 2.0. Uh, speaking of my impressions, I'll say it feels very chic, made very smooth, reminding me of Android latest versions, somewhere even iOS, like, oh, 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 like this uh, <laughs> password. Uh, and, not and not like it was at the start of both OSs, where it felt quite rude, of course, in compared to a present ones. So if you have worked with the first generation, I'm confident you will instantly notice a significant change. And here, for example, we have a monitor of Hikvision's first series, which fully reflects the appearance of the first generation, and I think the differences are visible to the naked eye. And returning to uh, the subject of our video, the Anticom features a responsive, a really good responsive touchscreen, a key-shaped button uh, for opening a doors remotely, a microphone here, a speaker here, and left to it, we have a microSD slot supporting up to 32 gigs for storing messages and images. And on the back side, we got an RG45 for LED cable, as well as the interface for connecting an alarm 12 volt power and an RS485 interface. So here's a deal. A single indoor station of a second gen like this one allows you to connect it to several video intercoms and extension modules. We can either we can even arrange an access control features here. We can pair it up with an alarm system, bring in a few AP cameras and a video record on top of that. And what we're doing now, we're adding a module to the indoor station. We've took the main module, here is it, uh, the video intercom, added the indication and the card with the module for our setup. And then we fix it in a uh, triple bracket. On the back side, it is actually unexpectedly simple. So we held a power supply and the network to the main module in the form of a POE. POE. <laughs> that comes via a cable from a switch. And then we've paired it with a two modules and powered them up via RS485 interface from a top main intercom unit to the middle and the bottom via these cables. So in the end, we have 
set their positions on a dip switch is here, there's it, and here. And then there was a setting up stage. And by the way, in this regard, that was very simple, but uh, this is a topic for the further videos. So if you're interested, tick the bell below and you won't miss our releases. Thus, we can make a call from the panel to the station. So um, we can answer and talk. Oh talk with our interlocutor because we have here a video and a two-way audio due to a mix uh, and a speaker on both ends. So and then we can open a door ba based on our conversation outcomes like this. Or a person can enter a building according to the access control via a cut. Well, of course, if it has already been submitted into the database. Even though, uh, even without the need to make a call, if that is, let's say, an employee the door is open. of a company or a staff, etc. Though a stranger will have to make a call and only after obtaining a permission, uh, well, get in. And also, you see, the indication module changes the highlighted elements all the time depending on what is happening. So, yeah, during a call, we have lightened this. Uh, yeah, we have lightened this. Then we speak. This is this one is lightened, and of course, when the door is open, uh, this uh, respectively, this the door is open is lighting up, and then make a call. Oh God, calling. There we have this, and 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 the speak again. Answer. There we go. There we go. And that's it. In this system, everything is simple, logical and convenient. Concluding briefly, this uh, indoor station stations look great and are even awarded by the red dot prize for that design. The updated interface is something that we are so familiar with after iOS and Android. So that's cool and you quickly get used to it. They are not devoid of a functionality either. Here you can bring in the alarm security sensors, arrange an access control, add IP cameras and recorders, and assign a several intercoms and extension modules. Ah. And that's not all that as I uh, and as, I, as I'm already not fitting in the required timing, excuse me, but further on, you'll see a much more details. So the modules are awesome too. All the opportunities and flexibility in relation to the tasks that you need to solve using this system. Large selection, much more than I showed today, and they fit for the most diverse tasks to create what you need. Honestly, I am very impressed with this system and well, that is it. In the Vivo System Store, we have available not this only, but also an alarm systems, IP cameras, and many other appliances and brands. And if you indicate that you're a subscriber during your order, we will make something interesting as an offer for you. So uh, need help, questions, descriptions of your tasks are always welcome in the comment section under the video. Not a single one will go unanswered eventually. Thank you for watching.